been an age-old question to buy a new computer or upgrade your old one. And with every Windows release or update, it's been, you know, recommended to buy a new computer to take advantage of the new hardware. But Windows 7 is the first operating system released by Microsoft that I can actually say, if you want to, you don't have to upgrade. You can just upgrade your, I mean, I'm sorry, you don't have to buy a new computer. This is the first first operating system that's been really easy to take your old computer that's, you know, maybe two, three years old and upgrade it to the new hard new operating system that, you know, it works just fine. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing a fresh install of Windows 7 um, release candidate, build 7100, on this XP um, Compact Presario 2200. This computer has a 1.3 gigahertz Celeron M, which is about three or four years old. It's got 512 megabytes of RAM. So we're going to see how it works on this. Um, I haven't done, I have not installed this before on this actual computer. So we're just going to do a quick install, run it through it, and see how it works. We are going to time how long it takes from this screen to the completion. So we're going to time it right from here, using my cell phone. I'm going to hit it right now, and then we're going to start. Alrighty. All right, there we go. We're going to use a little magic and fast forward through the installation. All right, there we have it. We have a complete install, fresh clean install, installed in 23 minutes and 39 seconds on a computer with a 1.3 gigahertz and 512 megabyte RAM. That's installed from a DVD. So, I'm going to go through and finish this up, and then we'll go do and do some tests here. We're going to do a boot up te time test here. Got the stopwatch running. We'll see how long it takes to, to boot up. And there you go. It booted in 1 minute and 14 seconds. Got all done with the install. We also in installed a Windows Live Essentials, which includes the mail, um, photos, all those different utilities. Um, those are stripped out of Windows 7 to make it lighter, and that way they can be updated more. That's Microsoft's idea anyways. So they we downloaded them, and that's, right now this computer is completely blank, except for Windows 7 and the Windows Live Essentials. Um, for a low power processor, it's a 1.3 gigahertz. It's got really, really good um, performance. It opens up stuff pretty quickly, and uh, it's for only 512, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. It's it's a pretty speedy thing. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to be able to have that low of a processor and be able to do all this stuff. Check out Internet Explorer here. And there you go. Loads up really fast. So that's that's something that's really, really awesome. Something else is really neat, um, when I first installed this, it found all the drivers. There's not one device that didn't work on here. I installed the drivers for the, uh, the wireless card and everything. So that was pretty cool.
there you go. That's uh, if any if any program can test a processor, it's Media Center. It's uh, I like to use a processor a lot. So I think that's about it. It's uh, like I said, it, it, if I can install Windows 7 on this computer, you guys need to get out there and try it on all your your old computers because it's amazing, amazing how it can re uh, reinvigorate an old computer. So uh, check it out. You know you can download it until uh, July, I believe. So go check it out. Down, download it, install it, and uh, leave some comments. Tell me what you think. All right, thanks for watching.